the Coach's Corner with men's soccer head coach Andrew Bordelon. Um, coach, two games in three days over the weekend. Uh, let's talk a little bit about those competitions that you had. Yeah, you know, York came in on Friday. Um, York's a very solid team from top to bottom, and they were they came off another great um, result against a nationally ranked team, and and there was no letdown from them. You know, they they got on us early, um, and you know the, the result played out to a three one win, and then for them, um, and then Sunday we came in, we went down to a two, we went down to nothing into halftime, and. Um, you know, I think that that hole was a little bit too big to crawl out of at, by the end of the game. I mean, we, we had chances to come back the second half. We had a strong first 10 minutes for sure where we could have scored a few. Um, and then, you know, at, at the end, I, I don't think that there was any doubt um, the second half, you know, how we played the last 45 minutes was definitely something to build on. Absolutely. And those uh, that play that you had leading into the second half that you'll build on, is that going to lead into your game on Wednesday for at Newman? Well, certainly, you, you, that's what you you want. Um, and for us to continue to get to where we need to go, um, it certainly needs to build on that last 45 minutes. And, you know, and I think we can. I, you know, it's it's so easy um, to look at the record and be disappointed. And, of course, we are. You know, 0-4-1 is not how anybody wants to start. But, you know, it is. It's, it's, you know, the first time there's a period in here now where the players are still starting to get used to the coaching staff, and the coaching staff are, are, are starting to figure out the players a little bit more. It's, I think it's important to note that, you know, it was less than a month ago for the, was the first time I met a lot of these guys. Um, and that winning culture does not come overnight. Um, so building on performances like that is something that you, you have to do to continue to progress. So would you say that's a, a little bit of optimism, not so much in the result, but in the way things have been progressing and gameplay in, in general? Yeah, more of just the mentality and the intensity that was brought in that second half. Um, that was something that we haven't had yet this year. Um, and it's something that we've been wanting for um, and striving for. And I think, again, you know, you saw it and, and now you saw that it's okay. If, if, if you do go down a goal, you can make your way back. But, you know, it's always harder. You know, again, so I, I think that we're improving, but we're still making sort of the same mistakes that we have in the past. Um, and teams are punishing us for it. So if we can correct those while continue to improve um, in the areas that we continue to work on, um, absolutely, that's, that's, that's how we want to progress. Now, you guys go on the road on Wednesday and then come back for four games in, to finish out September, um, all played at home. Mm -hmm. um, you talk a little bit about how important those home games are going to be before heading out in October. Yeah, absolutely. I mean. Uh, I, th I think I said this before, obviously, September, you know, we haven't had a lot of time together. And, and, and so far, the results have been disappointing. But it's important for us to finish um, September on a high um, as we, you know, if we get some good results and we start playing better going into conference, you know, for us, we have to look at conference as a, as a brand new season. You know, we're 0-0 zero, zero in, in trying to accomplish what we want to accomplish. And that's, you know, for the last four home games, before leading the conference is a great time, you know, not just for, for those games, but for training and things like that. Um, and we can get to know each other a lot better. It's a lot easier to do things at home, you know, film sessions, things like that, than it is on the road. Mm -hmm. All right, Coach. Uh, it's been great talking to you. Right. I appreciate your time today. Yeah. He's Andrew Bordelon. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Coach's Corner.